Mangoes grow abundantly in the tropical climate of the Maldives, so today we're making a Maldivian style mango curry. You'll need four mangoes. The riper the better. Wash and peel them. You'll also need one medium onion sliced, green chilies, five garlic cloves, one teaspoon grated ginger, a few pieces of cinnamon bark, a quarter to one half cup of dried fish flakes. This is dried tuna flakes. If you don't have it, you can just leave it out. About 10 curry leaves, one tablespoon curry powder, one tablespoon paprika, and one teaspoon turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, three cloves, and one half cup of thick coconut milk. If you're living outside the Maldives, you can usually find these ingredients in Indian and Asian supermarkets. In a large pan, add a little oil and fry the onion, garlic, ginger, chilies, cinnamon bark, cloves, and curry leaves so the onions are lightly browned. Now add the fish flakes and the spices. And the peeled mangoes. Mix everything around and add the salt. Add about a cup and a half of water. Stir and then bring to a boil. Turn down the heat to a medium flame and cover. Once the mangoes have gotten soft, after about 20 minutes of cooking, finally add the coconut milk and cook for about 5 minutes more. Mango curry is usually eaten with rice or roshi, which is the Maldivian's version of roti made throughout South Asia. There will usually be another side or another curry of choice that is also eaten with this. But for simplicity's sake, I like to just make this on its own. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This recipe is from Cook Maldives, the cookbook.